I'll take you for a ride on the devil ship I'll take you for a ride where you sink or swim Now come with me and let this story begin Raj, welcome back hey. uh, I'm all alone this time Yeah, well you're supposed to be with a uh, young That looks old Jewish man mm -hmm. Who I'm convinced overslept Yeah Yeah, so doesn't sad. answer his phone So sad Danny DeVito's not here <laughs> His replacement, Josh Shapiro Would have been a good one <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Fucking Josh. He pulled up Poseidon this morning. Now, Poseidon, if you pull up Poseidon and he says anything, right away mention this. 100%. Be like, oh, I'm an hour and a half late. Remember that time where you overslept and didn't show up? <laughs> Rush, you had a good festival? Uh, yeah, man. It was amazing. I feel like I caught a lot of good shows. Yeah. And it was also like surprisingly really good for my comedy, too, I think. Like, it was just like. Just seeing the level of talent that's out there and like, you know, getting on these like big, I mean, Anthony Jeselnik is like a fucking genius. Yeah, he's all right. You don't, you don't like him? Well, I, I love his humor. Yes. Uh, I don't like him as a person. Oh, okay. I don't know him as a person. Yeah, no, he pulled some weird shit uh, with an article that he had shared a little while back that really bugged me. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, I kind of see him differently. Mm -hmm. He, there, there was a, there's these like fake, there's these failed comics that, turn into comedy journalists, mm -hmm. comedy critics, if you will. And I remember they had wrote an article and they were calling uh, Big J Okerson a Nazi. Okay. Uh, Dave, Essentially, a bunch of Jewish men mm -hmm. uh, were being called Nazis for their humor because it's too... So a guy who does dark humor mm -hmm. to retweet it and be like, yeah, what's the deal with this? It's kind of like, dude, really? Okay. You really have to uh, like appeal to everyone. Yeah, You make the same type of jokes even worse. Mm. Okay. You have, yeah. So when I saw that, I was like, ah, fuck this loser. Okay, okay, right. okay. So since then, it's been. I think he apologized since then. He's like, oh, I really? made a mistake. I shouldn't have returned or something like that. Yeah. But, you know, it stays with you. Mm -hmm. So that that, okay. that still stuck with me. I truly just like him for his, like, His comedy is amazing. I, yeah. I think his joke the writing is... writing is insane. I'm not going to lie. It's, yeah. His joke writing is one of the best. And I love like, what he does. You know, like, that mentality of, like, when you're around, like, all these, like, great comics or you get to see them, you're exposed to them, like, it pushes you to, like, do better. Yeah. Right? And, like, um, yeah, I just felt that, like, in the festival... Also, like, the best of the best of Montreal was also, like, on all these shows, too. So it was really nice to be like, okay, one day I can get there, too, you know? Yeah, you could. You you didn't have any shows, though. You had I a did. Lot of shows. I did. Yeah. I had two shows. I did Abby Stonehouse's uh, accessibility show, and then I did the Empress uh, comedy show. That was good, huh? Yeah, it was amazing, man. Such a good experience. That was a good. We had fun. A little late, some of the parties ended oh, a little yeah. late. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was tiring. Yeah, it Especially was. Especially yeah. with a day job. Like, I'm like... Oh, yeah, it's true. In the morning... I thought you rented a hotel room over there with... Uh, one night. One night we okay. stayed in a hotel room, but the other night Did that help? Just, yeah, but then it was like one night and the next day was a Saturday, so it was, <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, no, yeah, I mean, the, the 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 fatigue was really tough to deal with, but other than that, fucking great experience. The parties were great. I was fatigued, I, I admit it. Oh, I got fatigued early on, and then I was really? like, I don't know how I'm going to last this whole week. With ZooFest. With because everything. You were also doing a lot of the I did French. French. I did the, the Zoo Fest. I think I had two shows that were Zoo or one that was uh, Zoo. The other one was the French one. I had the outdoor shows. Then the Montreal show. Okay. Uh, I snuck on the Nasty show the last oh, night. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, I did the Montreal show. Yes. Midnight Surprise. Midnight Surprise. Yeah, so I, had, I can't complain. I had a good festival. Yeah. I did a lot of sexual harassment repeatedly. I had, a good, <laughs> okay. I had a good time. I had a, It was a good festival. It was that's a good amazing. Festival. And yeah. you fucking killed the Nasty show. People liked saying, it, yeah. 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 Didn't someone write an article about yeah, you? Yeah, there was uh, in the interrobang, they had mentioned it because uh, she was describing all the stuff that happened. Okay. And luckily, she was at that nasty show. Oh, wow. The one that I was on. And she was saying how I got to live this moment when he went on stage. Like, it was, I was like, fuck yeah, you did. Oh, that's yeah, so it was good. good. You closed out the show. No, I didn't close out the show. It was in the middle of the show. Okay. So, but it was so. a complete surprise. No one knew I was going to be there. Amazing. I only found out two hours earlier. Wow. So there was no chance anyone would have known. That's I didn't know. That's yeah. so sick, dude. Yeah, so and also, a oh, highlight of your festival was getting hit on like 50 times a day. I don't know it was a highlight. I started, yeah. You were with me when it started to get tiring. You started, You were with me when I was like, I was already done with it. I was like, this is he retarded. He was wearing these crazy ass fucking shirts that were just like babe magnets. And like, everyone it's, was It's not an exaggeration. It's it. not an exaggeration. You don't understand. It, it was like a sitcom. It, it truly was. Yeah. Uh, what's a, what's a sitcom that has like that dude that wears a shirt and just gets all the, is it Seinfeld? It might, I don't know. But it felt like, a, like after day one, day, then day three, I was like, what the fuck's happening? This is too, this is too it's weird. It's a lot. Yeah. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Oh. 
Now you know what it's like to be a woman. Easy, easy work. <laughs> no, no, it it it, it, does, it does get tiring. Yeah, it got tired. Josh was having. A, I wish he was here because he has a funny story about like the whole thing that was happening. Oh God. At one point, he was losing his mind. He's like, "This isn't real life. How is this happening?" Oh my and then God. I'm like, "I'm just gonna look straight ahead. I'm not gonna talk to anyone." And I turned my head for one second, and it was a hand in my face. A woman was introducing herself to me, and Josh was yelling like, "What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is happening?" <laughs> Uh, that's amazing well, and was, he also had a good festival too yeah he had fun yeah i brought him around to a lot of stuff he came with me to the midnight surprise that's got to nice. hang out yeah um it was fun man oh yeah i did a meal show fuck i did a lot of shows i forgot yeah, yeah it was a good time a meal show you did it in french i did both i i think okay. he booked me for english okay i went out there and i asked because i was the last one going up and it was late everyone yeah. was tired it was like fucking 12 30 or some shit yeah. so i was like oh, are you mostly french bilingual oh, we're bilingual so i started just doing both i flowed mm. in just to make sure everyone's comfortable okay and then got off the stage. That was the same show that Wasim did? <sighs> I think Was I think was there. So. It was me, Was, Adib. Uh, yes, okay, yeah, Wasim Jacob, was on yeah. that lineup. I saw Wasim and then I had to run. But he fucking killed it too. Yeah. He was like in the middle of the lineup too and he fucking killed it. It was amazing. Perfect what spot. Guy. For yeah. these kind of shows, man, the middle is the best. Yeah, because it gets so late. Yeah. I don't know how to like handle that. Then I surprised to put me at the end. Yeah. Going up, I knew it wasn't going to be good. Yeah. They're tired. It's 1 a.m. It's one thirty. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. true. But I mean, these people that come to Midnight Surprise, they know. It's they know, but they're psyched in the beginning. And then mm. if they're there the whole time, like even right before I went on when yeah. they were about to announce me, yeah. I could hear them yelling like, oh, is it going to be Chappelle? And I was like, oh, they're going to be disappointed. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, they're okay. going to be fucking this because that's what they're expecting. They're like, yeah. it's it's 1.30. Yeah. They made us wait for this guy. That's so true. Yeah. It's got to be Chappelle. Yeah, I feel you. And then I show up and they're like, fuck this asshole. <laughs> All right, we get it, bro. Your friends are retards. We get it, you know? <laughs> I saw the Midnight Surprise, I think, like twice or three times, I would say. I saw when you were on. I saw when Eva went on. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. the same night, yeah. Yeah. So that was... Uh, she had a good spot right in the middle, yeah. Yeah. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, lots of great comics. I'm kind of really glad that it's over, though. <laughs> yeah. What do you have to know? Uh, just shows. Just shows. I hosted The Nest on Tuesday, which was really cool. How was that? I really thought that I hated hosting. I That's that's me. But I'm kind of liking it now. Really? Yeah. Okay. This Just like it's making me flex that muscle that I've never flexed before, which is talking to people. <laughs> that is true because every week I do it at the bordel and yeah. I am flexing, even though I hate it, I am flexing that yeah. muscle. People seem to enjoy it. Like I don't like myself hosting, but people like me hosting. Absolutely. So I'm in the middle of host. that. Eh, let's not go that far. But I, I don't like it. But I am learning to speak to people, like mm. do crowd more crowd work. Okay. So it helps with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like that pressure of like being in the spot and it's like they'll say something like, for example, Tuesday night I asked, I was like, oh, this is such a good looking crowd and like whatever. I'm a little intimidated. And then a guy in the back, he shouted and he's like, and it smells great, too. What the fuck am I supposed to say for that? I'm like, oh, OK, I'm really happy you don't have COVID, but like. It smells good. You, you're lovely. How do you like? Yeah, some of the it? stuff is complicated. Some of the stuff you like, you have to be in the moment. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about. And I feel like the crowd is like so like like on the edge of their seat, like waiting for you to say something clever. Yeah. But I'm like, I have nothing to say to that. Say the n word, dude. Because then everyone's like shocked, like what, what? And then by the time they figure it out, you could think of a joke. Oh no, get out of here. <laughs> good, get out of get out of a weird situation. Free card. Uh, there's a comic um, because it was like a newbie Tuesday. It was like an open mic, right? There was a comic whose last name was Zoo and then N word. Oh, Zoo nigga. Yes, I know him. That's his real name. I know, and I couldn't say it. Like I even when I like I introduced him saying it, whatever. But afterwards, I was like, I couldn't say it. I was like, I'm not falling into that trap. Zoo nigga. That's his real name. I know. Yeah. And that's what he has a whole joke about it. Yeah, he has still. a great joke about it. But he's when he so first funny. when he first said it, I was like, "Is he fucking with me?" But then when I found out it was his real name, I'm like, yeah. "I'm not gonna make fun of it. That's his real name. I'm that's not gonna. Just, yeah. I can't say your name. Absolutely. It's a sound we make." Yeah, I'm just scared that someone's gonna like clip up like some video clip and and, and just you slow mo zoom me <laughs> and like who is she talking to? That's how she's referring to one of the audience members. But it's really that, and he has this great joke about like you know comedy is all about like pushing it to like the limits. And yeah. I mean you know finding out what the line is and like staying like dancing with it, right? And I feel like such good comics are able to do that. I don't know how the fuck to get there. Like it's like talking about all these controversial things for me. Like controversial is like talking about sex. Okay, I, I know how you can get there because yeah. I had the same problem you did. I, it, my biggest thing was how do I get there without it seeming too abrupt? Mm. So it's just natural. Don't force it. So if you want to talk about a topic, yeah. talk about it, but don't. You don't have to force it. So let's say you want to talk about sex, right? Yeah. You start. It's kind of like sex. I can't you believe you I just start said that. slowly. I think this is a fucking podcast. Okay, we got to talk about sex. <laughs> but you get into sex and you get into it slowly. You start talking. You don't have to be right away like. 
uh, what's you have anybody who get fucked or shit yeah. like, like when people do that it sets everyone <laughs> off no but you've heard that Poseidon you it, it just sets everyone off because yeah. you're too abrupt it's kind of yeah. like sex you gotta lean into it if you go in rough mm-hmm. there's gonna be some problems so it's uh that's you just lean into it and then you see you gauge you're kind of like tapping you're playing and then they're in they're invested because yeah. you're telling a story it's just don't go abrupt but you can talk about anything yeah like uh, last week at the bordel, I brought up all the latest stuff that was happening. I talked about Churo and his divorce mm. and shit. And I br- like you, you just need to bring it in light. You can't just go hard. Yeah. The fuck's up with this retard? Then <laughs> it's too aggressive. Yeah, it's true. Go slowly. Yeah, I saw right. that a lot at the festival too. It's like some of these comics, and these are like seasoned pros. They would come out there and they start yelling at the crowd, and I'm like, why? But then you see the second they lose the crowd, and then they try They're to get them back, back. for like, sure. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, Some people never learn. That's crazy to me because, like, I mean, obviously you've gotten to that point because you've done all these reps and whatever, but you're still going out there and screaming at them. I hate the screaming. Yeah. The screaming like always the screaming bugged me. Too. Other than George is silly because he does it fucking amazingly. <laughs> I, I, I was asking him to, because he was at the bordel, I brought him this week, and he was reading one of the reviews. He's gotten many reviews. Mm-hmm. One of the reviews of people that were offended by him that gave a one star. And at one point, he's like, <laughs> he was threatening, he was saying he was going to murder us for three <laughs> minutes repeatedly. And I was like, this is the best review ever. Oh my God, yeah. And it's good if he puts in the middle of his set, because then oh, all the people sure. who are not on board, sure. the second he reads it, they're like, oh, I'm retarded like them. I got to get on board oh, with this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's great. That's so clever. You gave him that tip? That's, that's what I told him. I go, this is why it works. He's like, I don't know oh, how to bring it in. you know what? I think I saw him recently. I think he did Raw on Sunday, and he did do that. He did it's amazing. Fuck, so good. He was yelling at us for three minutes to That's say amazing. he was going to kill us. I had to follow him on Sunday, so was, I went up right after him. And I was oh. so nervous. It oh, was, really? Because you well, had two different course. energies. Yeah. Of course. And also, he fucking destroys all the time. They're like dying of laughter. I was like, yeah. they don't have anything left for me. But He's a... Yeah, I, I love him. Fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's either like he's going to lose the crowd or he's going to like win them over and they're going to be so fucking happy that he's there. You know what I mean? Even when he loses them, it makes me happy. <laughs> Anytime there's a good, awkward awkwardness yeah. happening Pe- like people are ready to file a complaint yeah i'm in a good zone yeah i'm like you idiots <laughs> i can't take human beings too serious anymore yeah. I- i've seen how stupid people are and now i'm just like you're just dumb i have what am i gonna do have you ever witnessed people like walking out of like yeah. uh okay yeah I've not just with him but like with no no comics? with me people have walked out really? yeah, i've walked some people in my in my luscious career i've i've walked some, i've seen people walk get walked for random shit i've seen people leave for stuff that there's no way you find, like you're looking to be offended okay. and i'm looking at them i go what the fuck the comic didn't even say anything mm-hmm. that bad but there are people who go to shows like that yeah ready just waiting for drama and yeah whatnot. okay i'm gonna be so offended yeah I go fuck yourself they come ready guns blazing give me that one actually since he's not here i'm gonna steal his coffee yeah here we go. oh it's still warm nice happy for you thank you it's all good I'm always scared that, like, um, even with my comedy, because I talk about white people a lot. Yeah, but you don't say anything bad. I don't, it's, well, I kind of do, right? I'm always yeah, just know. like, oh, like, white people don't get it and, like, whatever. Yeah, but they don't get you. You can say that. You're you. Yeah. But you, don't, you don't say they don't get life. White people are rapists. You don't say shit like that. Like That's true. But I also talk about, like, how, like, they're so dumb with, like, their questions when it comes to, like, learning about, like, cultures and whatnot. You know what I mean? Do you know why people laugh when you say that? Why? Because they know that they are dumb with their questions. Because <laughs> it's true, they are. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I'm struggling with that. Like yesterday I did the Wiggle Room. And um, it was a very, very white audience. Okay. And they were not on board for the jokes where like I was like, you guys don't get racism like I do, you know. should have said you identify as a houseplant. They would have been on board for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> but you know, like it's just so hard. Like finding that really, like it's like I'm not canadian enough to be canadian and i'm not like you know tamil enough to be tamil I'm like i don't know like you're not tamil enough to be tamil that's what i feel like okay that's a because complex. because um obviously i was born here and whatever and i was exposed to like everything that this culture has to offer and like you know you really assimilate right yeah and i know that's like the worst word to use i think it's supposed to be integrate but um, is it yeah. When I was growing up, it was always, they whole, told me, please assimilate. No. So assimilate is like kind of like um, putting it out that you're trying to let go of your culture and you're trying to fuse into the culture of the country that you're in. Well, I mean, you should fuse. Integrate a- is taking yourself as a whole and merging and combining with the country. That oh, that's what in. I'm doing. 
Exactly. That's, but that's what you're doing. But assimilating is like letting go. It's like what like Lego wants us to do, right? It's okay. like, hey, let go of who the fuck you are. Just learn French and like. And fuck your sister. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I can't be on board with everything he says. I'm okay with the French stuff, but I'm not going to back Are you sister. really okay with the French stuff? So yeah. We're in Quebec. I, I, I don't mind. French. I love okay. French. Okay. I, I don't mind at all. What, I'm, what I say is I agree French needs to be protected 100%. Yeah. I get it because I would do the same. Mm-hmm. Let's say if I was in Greece and Greece. Uh, the problem is. The, sh- the measures he's taking mm-hmm. are purposely the wrong ones yeah. meant to just f- uh, stir the pot and fuel mm-hmm. the fire. Because mm-hmm. you telling a kid or, or stopping a family from their kid learning English or vice- learning French, if they're English, right, doesn't help the language. Mm-hmm. What he should have done is put all efforts possible so that starting, let's say, next year, mm-hmm. every school from learns perfectly both languages, English and French. Kids are perfectly bilingual. Doing that, you've just integrated that that English side automatically because now they understand the language yeah. since when they're kids. They're going to consume the culture. They're going to see how much is available. They're going to yeah. fall in love by themselves because there's a lot to be that's attractive in, in the French culture. Sure. There's a lot that they do. Yeah. Uh, and then that's how you're going to permeate. That's how you're going to push the culture. Mm-hmm. If you tell people, go fuck yourself, you're in trouble because you're not speaking French, mm-hmm. all you're going to do mm-hmm. is make them resentful. Mm-hmm. And then the next generation of immigrants that come in that don't speak French, mm-hmm. they're never going to learn because they're going to feel so, what do you mean, fuck me? Yeah. You're just going to close them off and then it's going to be harder. But why they do this, I think, is because then every couple of years, they're going to be like, you see, there's a decline. You see, they don't want to speak French. You see, vote for me. Vote. It's just so they can stay in power. Mm-hmm. But they're doing the opposite of helping the yeah. French language. Yeah. I know for me, I, I, I bring people that are a little bit bilingual and they're learning. And I'm bringing them into the French side comics. Yeah. And like, oh, fuck, this is so much better. And then they're, they're forcing themselves to learn French better so they could do more comedy because yeah. it's friendly. Yeah. They're in a happy environment. If I would tell them, listen, retard, speak French or fuck you, whatever, they'd be like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Go fuck. It's, it's, they're doing it so aggressive. Okay. It could happen naturally. Just ease into it. Mm-hmm. Start from the schools. The next generation, they're going to be perfectly bilingual. Yeah. They're going to switch. They're, they're going to be consuming everything. Yeah. But I think right now they're at that, like, you know, the flight or uh, fight or flight, whatever. It's, it's going to fuck. Sure. It's going to set them back a few years. Yeah. I mean, sure. I mean, the French, <laughs> when I was in Paris, oh my God, the amount, <laughs> like, I would sometimes say, like, obviously the Quebecois words, right? Yeah. And they would laugh so hard. They yeah, they talk like, a lot of shit, the French. Of course. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck is the shit? And I was like, yeah, this is what Quebec's trying to protect. <laughs> yeah, we're protecting this. <laughs> but they like they like to laugh, huh? But uh, they, they would have been speaking fucking German if it wasn't for it's us. But true. they like to they like to talk shit, these French. Yeah. But I, I get, I also get where they're coming from too. I don't know. My parents put me, so I was in an English system, like, and all my sisters were also in the English system. And then my parents put me in a bilingual school when I was in grade three. Oh, it was a little late. It was weird, right? So for you? late. So late. And I was like so behind. All these kids who started early, they were like so proficient in French. That's what I'm saying. It should be everyone should be from very early on. Very early, full bilingual. Yeah. Not, also, when I say bilingual, I mean full, yeah. uh, proper. Not uh, when I was in French school, when I was taking the English classes, mm-hmm. I excelled because yeah. it was so stupid. Uh, John rides a red bicycle. What color is John's bicycle? Yeah. You're, you're producing retarded people on purpose. Yeah. So then the French people go out and they sound stupid and it's Absolutely. not their fault. It's because you taught them as if they were, as if they had some kind of a mental deficiency. Yeah. Yeah. For me, like it was like growing up in the English system was just the Becherel like repeatedly every single year. Right. Yeah. I, I used to get in trouble. I used to have to copy the Becherel. Yeah. You too? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because I wouldn't, like, for me, it, it didn't make sense. Like, at home, you speak English. I spoke English. Because I didn't have to talk with my parents because I had older siblings, and they would just relay the information. They spoke Tamil a lot better than I did. So, and then my friends were English, so it's like, why the fuck would I even bother? You see? That's why. It should just be natural. Everyone, it's yeah. just part of the curriculum. You learn both perfectly. You grow up fully bilingual. Yeah. And we never discuss it. Yeah. But they need to discuss it because it's a topic that they can get votes on. Because mm-hmm. yeah. it's not Montreal that is, they're scared because they live in an integrated society. It's when you go further out, they don't know. Yeah. They believe what the news says. They, it's not their fault. They believe what the government is telling them. And yeah. the government says that these fucking foreigners in Montreal, they're going to yeah. ruin it. And they believe it. They're like, why would I want to lose? They just love their culture. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they're not they're not bad. They're just they're reacting to what the government is telling them. Yeah. And then here, because we don't go out as much, we think, mm-hmm. oh, they're bad. They're, they, they're xenophobic. They hate people. Mm-hmm. It's not. They're reacting to what the government's telling them. Yeah. The problem is the government telling them that mm-hmm. these people are trying to take everything. Yeah. They're not. If you would teach them as kids, everybody's fully bilingual, like yeah. part of the cu- curriculum, no one yeah. question. You would just switch. Switzerland, they speak five languages. Yeah. Belgium. And Belgium, they're a bunch of dumbasses, That's and they speak all kinds of languages. Yeah. We can do it. We can speak two fucking languages. Absolutely. I agree with that. Yeah. And there's so much. There's like, uh, the, if, if you do... You, you're, you're exposed to so much shit here in Quebec mm-hmm. like because they have good everything they have good plays music arts mm-hmm. that they get to live great culture yeah. great culture yeah. 
And you, you, you don't even see it. Like when I was not informed of it, when I was just mm-hmm. doing English stuff, I didn't know. Yeah. And then when I started to get into it, I was like, holy fuck, you guys have so much. It was only until I started doing comedy um, that like I really, I mean, it was only after I started doing comedy that I felt like, wow, Montreal has so much to offer. Yeah. Like so much culture. Like it's insane. All these festivals that are free. I had no idea before. <laughs> yeah. I was just living in my shell, just going to house parties and like whatever. But this is this is pretty fucking cool. And I now I'm starting to understand why like tourists are here and they're like enjoying the sex. The it's a, we have a culture I mean, of sex. I mean that too. Yeah. But I mean, is it like the best place for that? Besides, uh, it is the best place for that legally, right? Like we're not talking Thailand if you want to ban kids. We're talking about like legally, what better place is there? Uh I think I think it is the best place in North America. Yeah. Mm. Oh damn! Because I and he's a sex tourist. I, I've researched this in the past. <laughs> yeah, or was a sex tourist. Now he's calmed down. Wow. But when he was a sex, he even went to Cuba, and it doesn't even though the weather's better. Yeah, the sex tourism in Cuba does not compare to the sex tourism in Montreal. Wow. Yeah, okay. you have everything you want here. We have a red light district. We used to have, like, let's say the bordel is yeah. called the bordel because it was a brothel. Okay. So they just kept the name because it was a well-known brothel. Okay. So when they turned into a comedy club and a bar, mm-hmm. they kept the name. Ontario, that used to be kind of the red light district. Yeah. But now, because the, the, the hookers were forced off the street, mm-hmm. you're not allowed to, because the whole laws here is, is you could do whatever you want. You just can't solicit. Mm-hmm. So they were pushed inside on the internet. Mm-hmm. So now the red light district is the whole city. Is there, There's some areas like close to uh, the third floor where you can go get hand jobs. Mm-hmm. It, it's known where there's strip clubs. Okay. But in general, here you can just call up and do whatever you want. Yeah. I uh, was in uh, St. Rose uh, yesterday, which is like fairly close to where I live. And there was like this little like shabby, like, you know, like those strip malls, whatever. It's like a depanier and like a fucking like salon. And yeah. and then like in the middle of it was this like place and it's called Sexpert. Like Sexpert? Like experts for sex? Okay. Yeah. And I had no idea. It was just like written in pink. What is it? Like a brothel? I don't fucking know. And it looks so fucking abandoned. And I was like, what is... And also who... I don't know. I have so many questions. Yeah, there's some of these Where's places this? are dingy. Um, I think Rose. Rose. Fucking Yahoo, bro. I swear to God. Oh, yeah. Shit. Fuck. I'm so sorry. I didn't set my alarm. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Josh Shapiro. We Josh love Shapiro. You. Hold on. Let me get rid of a uh, fucking Yahoo search. It keeps changing. I've checked online. I have no idea how. No, it does it at my house too. I don't know why. Like Yahoo sneaks in there every once in a while, and they're like, "You and, need Yahoo." No, I there's don't. no way to. Um, who, pedophiles use Yahoo search. No, no <laughs> normal person's using Yahoo. Yeah, I didn't even know that was uh, still being used by anyone. Yeah. Anyways, that and Bing. Yeah. Or like. I think um, there's something wrong with the internet. Oh, maybe. Bing is used by terrorists. Yeah, that's is bang. <laughs> Hey, that's boom. <laughs> <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> yeah, tourists love this fucking spot. Yeah. 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 We, we were in Vegas over the weekend and uh, God damn, is that a tourist trap? Well, yeah. Holy what shit. What did you guys that. do? Uh, we s- ate, uh, caught a show, swam a bit, mm-hmm. walked around, gambled, that kind of stuff. Okay. Did you make money? No, I, I made money, but I didn't quit while I was ahead. Okay. I said, I'm here to fuck around, so I just spent it all again. And yeah. I lost it. Nice. Yeah. Because I didn't play any tables. I just played the machines, like all the retards. And, uh, but it's fun. It's fun. Why Why do you say that all the retards play the machines? I don't know. It's just in, in my head. It's always been the whole. It's like, go play a card game or something. I was going to play poker, but uh, then I, I decided against it. Okay. I don't even know how to play poker. I this is a strip time. club, I think. Is it? Yeah. Well, it's got a 2.6. Yep. That's a good strip club. <laughs> it just looks so sad. That's why it has a 2.6. You guys want to read some of the reviews? Hell do they have any? Yeah. Uh, I Let's think do it. so. Who Let's leaves a review? All right, let me hear it. Oh, God. Uh, someone named KR. One star. Hold on. Let me see if I can display this for you guys. For I, I'm seeing it. No, no, I mean for everyone. Oh, no, watch. leave it for us. Who oh, cares? Okay, sorry. You just read it. <clears throat> After entering, bartender forced to buy something. Even none of the dancer appear on the floor after more than one hour of opening hour in the evening. Not fair. They are all refi taking entry fee. Well, this guy needs to go back to school. Uh, Next. But it got seven likes, so people agree. People agree, yeah, and there's, yeah. they're very refi in there. Okay. 
Worst peeler bar I have ever been in paid over and fifteen dollars for a beer and soft drink. Not one girl got on stage. <laughs> oh, there's no strippers. This guy put the date. Jeff Zhao. Bro, who puts their mic actually like, who puts their names, bro? On a I need of a my family party? to know that this is a terrible strip club. <laughs> this guy goes, he even put the date. Twenty nineteen. I don't know if it's uh August first or uh January January eighth. Well, look, you know, the thing is, at least we know that this was pre-pandemic. Yeah. He goes, we stay three minutes and then leave. Three minutes. Two stars, okay. though. He only stayed three minutes, still gave it two out of five. <laughs> <laughs> awesome barmaid, another one says. Three stars, though. She wasn't that good. Okay. <laughs> this guy oh, goes, that guy gave a five star. Let's see what the five star says. Well, small, quiet place and very nice people and beautiful bartender. That's fake. Except for the bartender. These people seem to like her. Yeah. <laughs> Shitty bar, it's not worth going there. Uh, a wasted evening at your risk. Also, it's not clean. Oh, yeah. that's Was he it. expecting cleanliness from these places? <laughs> Another five-star fake, probably. Yeah. I really like its place of the very beautiful girl. I'm going to go back her to her places. What the fuck? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. It's the education <laughs> system. That's the problem. <laughs> What's that one star? Walter, what is he? Wow. Uh, he goes, uh, worst place to go oh. unless you want to ruin your evening. Wait, worst place to go unless you want to ruin your evening. All right. And that guy got 19 likes. Yeah. No, 10. Oh. Still, that's a lot of likes, bro. Uh, this guy goes, uh, five stars, superb atmosphere. Okay. And the bartenders are irresistible. How long ago was this? Like these, five years These ago? are six years ago. Wow. Okay. Jesus that's Christ. And that one, I want to read these last two one stars. Uh, don't go there, Tabarnak. I got robbed by one of the dancers. <laughs> oh, that guy's amazing. <laughs> and this one guy writes, Old de Marde. Nice. <laughs> God damn it. And the rest don't have comments. Okay. Yo, we got to talk about this. I, I want to talk with you because uh, we have to touch on this alien stuff. <gasps> yes. You're a lady. I have questions. I have questions. You're a lady who's well uh, learned. You're <laughs> a cultured person. And you know about your history. Mm -hmm. So you know this alien stuff ain't new. No. What questions do you have about the current alien situation? The current er alien situation, how... Okay, so there was that whole, like, video about the governor um, or whatever, whatever. What's his position? Adam. Oh, the defense minister of Canada exactly. back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. I'm talking, Brian about, the US, Heller or I'm talking whatever. about the U.S. federal government. Uh, yeah, that just happened two weeks ago. They exactly. had all these whistleblowers. Exactly. Generals from the military. So yeah. they were saying, yes, it is confirmed and whatnot. However, we don't... Like, there is proof, but it's classified. Yeah. Right? My question is, if if there are aliens and we have thousands of satellites orbiting the Earth, definitely other countries have captured it. Yeah. Right? And they're not just coming to the U.S. And no, also, they confirm they're not just coming to the U.S. They confirm that other countries have uh, contact with them. Right. And they have their own programs. Why is it that it's the U.S. federal government that's leaking keeping this. all these documents or leaking it or talking about it or whatever the case may be why is it just the u.s if there were aliens right which i do believe there are 100 percent. but you're right though it's very suspicious but the russians are talking too okay but we ignore them but the russians have talked right. about this but they're keeping it very hush hush they're, they're also key some of it they're coming out with now but a lot of it is still hush hush i don't know why everyone's sworn to secrecy like to protect the aliens if yeah, they're there i don't understand it's very that. weird yeah but the the one uh the u.s one two weeks ago the weird thing they said i don't know if you can find a video of it is they go, we found uh, biological entities. Mm -hmm. Two of them that were dead, we recovered them. Mm -hmm. And then one that was alive and we communicated with. How? Which is mental. How? How the fuck are you communicating yeah. with them? Like, is it, like, is it emojis? Yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking understand. And also, like, do we know then, what they kind of look like? Do you know who who was uh, saying that? Yeah. Oh no, bro. But I saw, I watched the video. That's why I wanted you to bring it, it up. It was the. What the did you write? No, bro. Don't write that. Write the UFO disclosure. UFO disclosure. Biological entities, or non-human. Yeah, there it is. Wait. Uh, two weeks ago, right there. It's U.S. government. Oh, this oh. one. Yeah. Click on that. Yeah. I'll. Uh, the volume up here. Gotta unmute here. Let's see this. You wanna uh cause there's a microphone blocking uh Raji's view, That's but fine, it's okay. I can see it. Hold on, I gotta make sure it's the right no, yeah, you see it's not the right one. There you go. Sexy. Do I play it for people too? Yeah, of course. 
Has the U.S. government become aware of actual evidence of extraterrestrial, otherwise unexplained forms of intelligence? And if so, when do you think this first occurred? Uh, I like to use the term non-human. I don't like to denote origin. Keeps the aperture open, both scientifically. Right. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, like I've dis discussed publicly uh, previously, 1930s. That was it? What, that's it? No, no, no. I want the guy who's talking about the biological entities. Okay, so in the 1930s, so you saw me before that, we didn't have them. Uh, it's one of these, though. Yeah. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, yeah. stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who there. piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. Oh, how fucking crazy that's is that? That's wild. Yeah. And you, you know what's even wilder? Nobody gives a fuck. Oh, yes. I think this one's a I brought one. up on yes. stage, nobody gives a fuck. Yes. Nobody cares. Agreed. When you reported your experiences with a UAP, did any of you face any repercussions with your superiors, yes or no? No. No. I've actually never seen anything personally, believe it or not. So. All right. Um, and then do, do you believe there's an active disinformation campaign within our government to deny existence of UAPs, yes or no? I don't have an answer to that. As previ previously stated publicly, yes. Oh. I think previously with like Project Blue Book, yes, but currently I don't speak for the United States government. Okay. You Thank see you. Project Blue Book? Um, I have a few questions Pause for Mr. Graves. I've been bringing up Blue that? Book and Blue Beam for years, what right? Conspiracy. That? They're fucking, it's all real. Let him finish this a bit and then we'll bring um, up uh, Project Blue Book. What percentage of UAP sightings in your belief go unreported by our pilots? This is an approximation based off of my personal experience speaking with a number of pilots, but uh, I would estimate we're somewhere near 5% reporting perhaps. So like 95% basically don't report seeing UAPs. That's just my personal estimate. Um, in the incident off Virginia Beach, do you believe the Navy took the danger to your aircraft seriously after it was reported? Absolutely. Um, a few questions for Mr. Favor. As an expert naval aviator, have you ever seen an object that looked and moved like the Tic Tac UAP? No. Did the Tic Tac UAP move in such a way that defied Rogan. the laws of physics? Oh, is it? The way we understand them, yes. Many dismiss UAP reports as classified weapons testing by our own government, but in your experience as a pilot, does our government typically test advanced weapon systems right next to multi-million dollar jets without informing our pilots? No, we have test ranges for that. It took over 15 years for your encounter with the Tic Tac to be declassified. Do you feel there was a good reason to prevent lawmakers from having access to this footage? No, I just think it was ignored when it happened, and it just sat somewhere in a file. Never got reported. In a drawer. It happens a lot up here. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> um, Mr. Gresh, uh, I like a couple this lady. of questions for you, too, sir, this morning. Um, what percentage of UAPs do you feel are adequately investigated by the U.S. government? Of the 5% that are reported. <laughs> um, oh, that's I can only embarrassing. Speak for uh, my personal leadership over at NGA, I tried to look at every report that came through that I could mm -hmm. triage. So. Do you believe that officials at the highest levels of our national security apparatus have unlawfully withheld information from Congress and subverted uh, our oversight authority? There are certain <laughs> elected leaders that had more information that yeah, I'm you not can't sure say what they've The answer is yes, but you can't say it. Cetera, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, certainly. Uh, all right, Poseidon, we, I, I we get it. Surprised. We get what's going on. It's all the shit that like they know or like whatever, but they're not saying. But like, why not? <laughs> Like, what are we going to do? You know what I mean? I That's the thing that is, it, is shock. I, they think, if you look at Project Blue Book or Blue yeah. Beam, they also think that people will panic too much. Yeah. So they're scared of, uh, let's say, really religious people. Yeah. Being like, uh, they're trying to trick us. It's the devil. And then killing people and mm. like just going crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, we already had religious fanatics that are blowing themselves up for less. Right. Imagine you tell them everything mm -hmm. that you believe in is, is a lie. Mm -hmm. It's all nonsense. Yeah. Some shit's going to go down. Like, everyone has... Like, I mean, all the countries are monitoring all this, right? Not all the countries. India, for sure. Okay. China. Uh, the U.S. Russia. Russia is one of the... Russia has g great UFO mm -hmm. stories. Great mm -hmm. UFO stories Russia okay. has that they, they've encountered. Mm -hmm. One that I think is fucking 
fake as shit, but they say it's real. Where they turn to stone. What does Mike say? Uh, holy fuck, these people are dumb. Oh, no. I just have to say this. Drag queen sparks controversy. Oh, no, the Rebel News is talking shit about Mike. Ah, they talk about Mona, Mona de Grenoble. Anyways, oh, I'll check it out oh. after. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go publicly defend uh, the drag queens. Oh my okay. It's my friend, my friend Mona. Uh, okay. Alex is a comedian drag queen, and okay. probably joking because uh, Mike has a podcast. Okay. Uh, Suzuku, the best, uh, the biggest French podcast ever. Yeah. And uh, the I, I have to see the clip, but probably said a joke about drag queen story time or whatever, and uh, they took it serious. Rebel Media and they posted it out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so what I was saying was, mm-hmm. these uh, there's sc- some of the arguments are that they're scared. They're okay. scared that people will overreact. Okay. Others are, it's all what fake. What are we going to do? That's my question. Like, I don't know. Like what? Oh, against the aliens? Well, yeah. Like even knowing that they exist and, you know, if they confirm it or whatever. Like what are we going to do? But that's the thing. They're scared that people are going to feel that. At the tenth level, what am I going to do? That nihilism, yeah, and then society just collapses. It's society is already collapsing. <laughs> but to the point where you think, if you think there's nothing, like if yeah. you believe in an afterlife, you believe there's something, you still mm-hmm. hold on to some kind of values. Yeah. If you think this is all, we're just a random petri dish. Yeah. None of it matters. You're here for a limited yeah. time. Yeah. I do see crime rates going up, and people okay. just don't give a fuck. Yeah. And I mean, crime rates going up right now because of the recession too. Like it's yeah. like. You're not supposed to say it though. Apparently, it's not true. What? You're not supposed to admit that crime rates are going up or that we're in a recession or that it's all Why? nonsense. Well, according to our government, uh, inflation's down. Everything is great. Mm-hmm. And they don't want to admit it. Okay. So you have to live in this fantasy world. Okay. Where when you say it out mm-hmm. loud, when mm-hmm. you see the quiet parts out loud, mm-hmm. you're the problem. Ah. And that's why you're in the right field. Come. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get canceled. Fuck, yeah. What a great uh, advertisement all this is for a Tic Tacs, though. Right? Yeah. They're calling the Tic Tac. People yeah. are, what is a Tic Tac? You Google it right away. Yeah. You ever had orange Tic Tacs? The best Tic Tacs. Yeah, it's the best. I'm Absolutely. glad you agree. Hands down. Uh, or the uh, cherry cola one. That one's also fucking good. Cherry cola, underrated. Oh, 100%. Remember cherry, pe- what was it? The, the sweet the, cherry Pepsi, black cherry Pepsi or whatever back in the day. I don't know about that. It was but cherry the, Coke? The, the Cots, is that what it is? Cox? <laughs> Cots? I think it's C-O-T-T. Is that what it's called? Oh, like the, the brand? Yeah. Yeah, what was that? That was delicious too. That was so good. And they sell it right now at like the smoked meat uh, places. Ah, yep. yeah, yeah, it's true. You're right. Yeah, yeah. it goes good with smoked meat. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, there's some good sodas. Terrible for you, but so good. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. seriously, man, TikToks. TikToks, okay. yeah, great. Yeah, That's back. why they're saying nothing. Yeah. They're like, yes, yeah, so we're related to the audience. <laughs> Their marketing team needs to get on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they should do some kind of a. Absolutely. They show like a Are fake thing, me? and then you find out it's a, uh, someone's eating yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I just we just came up with our uh, with their campaign. It's basically they think. That it's a UFO, but mm-hmm. it's just a guy uh, who keeps dropping his Tic Tacs on the radar. <laughs> oh, there's something funny about Dude, that. There's, yeah. That's genius. Yeah. Oh, people are going to go Let's see if they jump flux. on that. Yes. Pantel is saving Tic Tac one. You never know. We want money, though. We're going to split it with Raj. We're, uh, just Thank you. Pay us something. I need this. Yeah. <laughs> comedy is not paying. <laughs> yeah, give us a check. Oh, uh, comedy is not paying. That's why I'm trying to open up uh, some more rooms, oh. some more little shows around town. One in St. Leonard, uh, one in Ahuntsic. Mm. One in the West Island? Oh, I got English. Get info. Uh, English and French. Okay, nice. Yeah, just get everybody some opportunity. Oh, dude, that's amazing. We love that. Yeah, we're trying. Yeah. I mean, like, I can't complain. Like, I'm going up every single night, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, third floor is amazing. Said shows are amazing. The Comedy Nest, you guys, Bordell. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's always space for more. There's always space for more, especially because we're all centered downtown. Absolutely. I'm trying to bring this whole concept of comedy in your hood mm. to bring it to people so that's they don't nice. have to go downtown. That is nice. Yeah. Laval only has like what, like two shows right now? Laval, yeah, Laval and doesn't have a dedicated room. It has mm-hmm. the two rooms that will rent out mm-hmm. to do those shows. Mm-hmm. I would love for there to be a dedicated comedy club in Laval. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, but I don't have the time or the, the finances right now to build one. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, I need someone with money to build a club. I know. That would be great though. In Laval, it would make so much money. Yeah. English, French, it would make so much oh, money. Oh, yeah. Both. Because there's parking in Laval. Yes. Very important. Yes. Downtown, no parking. And most people in Laval are bilingual anyway, so mm-hmm. that could be great. Most people around here are bilingual, Montreal, Laval. The, the news says otherwise. Yeah. The news says the English hate the French. The French and the French are more bilingual than the English. Mm. That's how what I've you, noticed too. How do you feel about like comedy in Montreal? Like, How do you mean? Like, How do you feel about like making it in Montreal? 
Oh, I don't know what and I want to and I want to exactly and that's so different for every single person right yeah. and also that's changing now with like TikTok and all that stuff but like how do you feel about just Montreal as a city of comedy um with just for laughs um with all the shows that we have on the English side and on the French side so I think they're two different worlds yeah I think on the French side you could make it mm -hmm. you could make a living Mm -hmm. being an average comic really just an average comic you make really? a living yeah there's a lot of paid spots there's tv spots mm -hmm. there's uh radio gigs yeah uh they're all, all like the bordel let's say pays you could go yeah. to the comedy hot club in quebec city you could book your own like i book my i book through i'm my own booker okay so i book my own shows uh in french oh, like wait, if i want to go to manager? a manager i have a I, well, I have a i have an agent yeah but yeah. I, I like to book my own stuff wow yeah i like yeah so what does your agent do my agent she gets me uh, i want her for like acting Mm. So I wanted to give me roles for shows, movies, that stuff. In French. In French or English. Oh, okay. I have it for that because that's what I really want to do. Okay. And the rest I'm doing myself. Now, it is getting a little overwhelming, so I might have to get a manager at some point. Okay. Or just transition her to become a manager or something okay. like that. Because she manages preach, so she nice. knows how to be a manager. Um, I might do something like that because mm -hmm. it's getting overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I like to go, I don't go through a booker. I mm -hmm. book myself, mm -hmm. which initially was kind of weird in the French scene. Yeah. Because you have bookers who do that for you. But they take a big percentage. Okay. So I was like, fuck it. I know how to do this shit myself. Mm -hmm. And it was easier to do it myself. Until this day, you do it by yourself. I do it myself. Sometimes That's I'll amazing. go to a booker if I need a special venue. Okay. Or like I used the, for the Rebel shows, Les Rebels, uh, I went with Concertium. So they could hook me up with like the saint Eustache venue and nice. uh, the Distrante. Okay. Um... But that's it. Now I think I'm going to continue that tour with the team, but mm -hmm. I might do it myself, just mm -hmm. book it myself. Yeah. Do you ever think that like English comedy in Montreal will get to that point where like... Uh, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to help everyone mm -hmm. like see how to do it. That's why I'm building the other rooms is because I want to start a circuit mm -hmm. where it, it's not just the bordel. It's a lot of different spots you could do in Montreal and yeah. then all the way to Ottawa. Mm -hmm. And then once we have Ottawa running with us, yeah. expand to Toronto. Michelle's down there mm -hmm. and have yeah. like a night or two in Toronto. Yeah. So then what we could do is we could also alternate and we could have comics from Toronto doing that circuit too yeah. and coming all the way to Montreal and mm -hmm. we do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Speaking of Michelle, what a fucking year for her. Oh, Michelle's doing so gangbusters. Fucking good. Yeah. I mean, new faces and then now the pitch fest too. That's so sick. Mm -hmm. I mean, this and is... they cured her of her AIDS. Wait, what? Yeah. They would they whoa, what? They cured her of her AIDS. What are you talking about? Yeah. You didn't know? Besides, she's cured, no? One hundred percent. One hundred percent AIDS yeah. free. AIDS free since ninety three. What are you talking about? <laughs> You didn't know? No. What the fuck are you talking? Nothing. I'm just fucking making fun of Michelle. Uh, no, she's doing fine. She she killed this year. She got the pitch stuff. I got scared, man. You got you would you think you wouldn't have known if Michelle randomly had AIDS? <laughs> Michelle's the Magic know. Johnson of our business. Okay, lovely. Yeah. No, she's been kicking so much ass. I'm mm -hmm. very proud of her. Yeah. Yeah, she's fucking amazing, man. Yeah. I'm uh, proud to have showcase with her. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm proud to have her as a friend. She's uh, she's just cool as shit. Yeah, and she works hard. The fucker, she, she works hard. Yeah, uh, she's one of the people that gets the whole. Because I would tell people like, "Am I doing enough?" And they would go up like once a week. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking about me when I started driving to like uh, Kingston, mm -hmm. J like finishing work, driving to Kingston just to do like a fucking open mic, and then driving back to make it back in time the next day to work. Mm -hmm. And you're finished mm -hmm. and no one gets that. You know, yeah. a lot of people don't get it. And her, she was doing the same thing here. She's like, yeah. she's on, let's say, comfort zone. She's like, fuck, tomorrow I got to go showcase in Toronto. So she'll do the five hours. She'll go. And then yeah. it's like, look, the next day I'm back in Montreal. I have a gig. So then drive back. <sighs> so like she she gets the hustle that wow. comics have to do around here. She yeah. gets it. Yeah. yeah. Just like doing this and then having a day job, like I said earlier, it's just fucking brutal, man. Yeah. So That's why I'm trying to create all the, because I want people to be able to live like in French, like off their art. Mm -hmm. Like in the beginning, it, you don't have to be making millions of dollars, but yeah. as long as you could pay off your shit and you could focus on your art, it opens up your mind. For sure. You're not as stressed. Yeah. So in English right now, it's impossible. There's not enough yeah, work. No. But if I could get it to some kind of decent level, yeah. and also with podcasting, I'm trying to get people to podcast more. I really want to get some advertising money in, and like yeah. they, they can do. But just be, everyone's scared. Yeah, no, no one, no one wants to invest. No, like everyone is just panicking all the I'm time. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna uh, do you're it. Gonna, you, I know you're gonna do it. Yeah, you're, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about you. I can't you. wait. I can't wait. Yeah. It's either that, like, I mean, I want to podcast, but I also want to like get out of the city because they also say like I was listening to a podcast where. Um, who was it? Jay Leno was talking and he yeah. was like, you know, he's a fucking stand up legend as well too. Right. And he was like the whole point and the process that he followed was like, you get good in one city, you move to the next, you yeah. get good, you bomb, you like fucking like build up your 
whatever you get good in that city and then you move to the next one but that's not that's not valid anymore yes. leno li lived in the past the yes. reason why you had to do that back in the day mm -hmm. was because the only way to be seen mm -hmm. was physically at a yeah, spot yeah Right now, you could off, circumvent yeah. all that with the internet. Yeah, absolutely. Podcasting. Yeah. So what's going to end up happening yeah. is you're going to be fun on your podcast. Mm -hmm. Your podcast gets big. You're going to be able to get booked in other cities based on the popularity mm -hmm. of your podcast. Yeah. That's true. That's your billboard. But a lot of comics don't get it. Yeah. I'm going to go do an open mic in New York. Go do the open mic in New York. But there's hundreds of comics. Yeah. Better ones. Yeah. It's going to, you're not, if people have this image of I'm going to go to another city. Someone's going to see me and be like, you yeah. kid, you're going to be a star. I'm going to make you a star. No, you have to do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're good, you you break out. That's what I'm saying. So, do you post like TikToks? Now I started doing it. Okay. I got Borgelli of, cutting up clips. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. And of your stand up. So, mm -hmm. of podcast clips. Okay. And now I started recording my stand up because I realized one thing about uh, hosting. Since it's weekly mm -hmm. and I want to talk about topical things that I can't really keep in my hour, mm -hmm. I can clip that shit yeah. and just post that Absolutely. and not burn my material. Absolutely. So, that's what I started doing. Okay. Yeah. Fucking dope, and that's why like hosting is so fucking amazing. You can flush out all that material, and tape it, and then put it out. I wish I recorded my Trudeau stuff. I think I'm gonna go to the third floor. Just I to did Trudeau that. jokes too. Right? I'm gonna post it about the his his breakup. Yeah, of course. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> I was talking about how um because he uh, he broke up, and then an hour later he had that uh, picture with his son in pink when they were w went oh to go god, watch yes, Barbie. Yes. And I go for so many years. You've been fighting all these allegations, rumors about you being gay. <gasps> the second you get divorced, an hour later, you're like, we're Barbie boys. Like, what are you doing? You've been, you worked so hard. You worked so hard for so many years to fucking fight that stigma. And then stigma. he balanced it out. He went into Oppenheimer, so. Oh, that was his daughter that he went yeah, with. Yeah, I know. I was so nervous when I was like, oh, fuck, he's dating way too young. Like, you got to calm down. And, you know, I was so nervous. Like, oh, God damn, bro, it's been two days. It's yeah. been two days. Don't look desperate, you know? But uh, no, it was his daughter. So I was like, oh, cool. But everyone's talking about him being single, but his wife is, oh, I mean, ex-wife is hot too. Yeah, they've both been single for like two years. Is uh, this it? Was, yeah, yeah. We had a guy on the French cast Separated. two years ago told us this. He goes, everyone in politics knows. They just thought that it would hurt their image. So they're, they haven't announced it. So to me, it wasn't a surprise. I even posted, I go, this was, this was on the French cast two yeah. years ago. I knew that he was. Yeah. And also it's none of my business. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing is I don't like, and I hate having to defend fucking Trudeau. I don't like Trudeau as a person. I think he's a piece of garbage. Yeah. But... His his divorce is none of my fucking business. Yeah, absolutely. Like I I shouldn't be seeing fifty articles yeah. about the divorce, all that. That's private shit. Yeah. I put fifty articles about why he's a bad prime minister. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. That's public. Yeah. But him and his wife, I don't care about mm -hmm. uh, whether they didn't have enough sex. They had too much sex. Yeah. She's banging his. It's really none of my concern as as long as they didn't do anything illegal mm -hmm. or like to hurt the country or whatever. We should know that should be his business. Yeah. And the fact that we're so interested and in so many articles were written about yeah. it you have to stop. Like I could, you know, some celebrities I get mad with, like, I don't want to be on the, in the limelight. But him, if he comes out and says, guys, this is stupid, okay. I agree with him hundred percent. But if he does come out. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. And it would actually be fucking amazing. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> it would be, I mean, I don't know about the hilarious part, but it would be fucking amazing. Mm -mm. Because dude. He's not gay though. You, you should, okay, yeah. Because part of the reason why he was getting in trouble when he was working out of school mm. was because he was fooling around with like 15, 16 year old girls. It was uh, never boys. Damn. So yeah, he has another problem, which is he has yeah. to bang everyone. Yeah. But um, from what it looks he's like, hot. he's not. A, he's not an ugly dude. Not at all. He's not an ugly dude. Not I, I personally, you, I, again, I don't like him as a person, but I believe if, when he has a beard, yeah, looks better. Oh my god. Yeah. The pandemic. Remember that beard? Oh yes, and the hair. Yeah. Holy shit. He's just a dumbass, and he's a yes. He's a. He's, he's not, not a good doing person. Anything. Yeah, he's not a good. He hate. He doesn't like people. He he's, he he's fakes a talker. it. He's a talker. Yeah, he's, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help every. Every family mm -hmm. in Canada. Mm -hmm. Inflation helps everyone. <laughs> when you pay twice at the gas pump, that's going to help you somehow. I don't know. I don't do math. <laughs> Look at my hair in the wind. So I don't like him. He's a, he's a piece of garbage. Yeah. But I don't, I, I don't want, uh, I also don't like his kids uh, being propped up in the front. Yes. Like, like people are going to ask yes. them questions about, the, I yes. don't like that shit either. I think it all feels up. like a PR stunt. Yeah. Yeah. Like his kids didn't do anything. Why, why would, why would yeah. you, why would you monitor or attack mm -hmm. his kids? Yeah. But like it's like you know like it's like you compare um, like Trump and him and you're like yeah. okay like you know what he I prefer Trump a hundred percent oh I prefer that is Trump very controversial uh, is it <laughs> Trump is the the funnier of the two funnier yes yeah. but also uh, asshole and yeah so much that's why I prefer here. him okay I prefer I, it, what, what are we talking about now like prefer for running the country or prefer to watch both oh, I was talking about preferring to watch oh preferring like to watch prefer yeah preferring to oh my god yeah, are you kidding me the watch that came Trump, with Trump Trump number one I wish one. I was a comedian when uh, Trump was in office uh, but actually, also Canada doesn't really 
Well, I'll tell you something. When Trump was in office, the only problem was he was the number one comedian for four years. Absolutely. Uh, ahead of everyone. He was killing it. But also comedians got a lot of content. I got a lot of content. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of content. Uh, He was killing it. But I prefer, to to be honest, Trump, when he was, let's say if he was prime minister, right? When Trump was president, no new wars. Mm Mm-hmm. The economy up until COVID was doing fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just that he's too much of a polar, like a polarizing figure, mm-hmm. and he doesn't know how to express himself properly. That's mm-hmm. what I learned about Trump. Okay, what are your thoughts on the indictment? I don't care. Okay, like because if you look at the timeline, every time an indictment like would happen, it was the day after a big Biden controversy. Okay, so it's all staged. So I don't yeah. like. He okay. said, uh, you know, Biden. We find out uh, they were. Um, they were giving X amount of money to the Ukraine before everything to pay them off for, oh. for his son, right? Next day, Trump's getting indicted for saying things. And I'm like, ah, God damn it. It's the news cycle thing. Because yeah. it's not real. What did he do? Because I'm still waiting. Right. If he did something illegal, put him in jail. If well, he did something so bad. Even the alien thing. Like, it's like no one's giving a shit about it. No. But I think their hope was is that everyone would focus on that and distract mm-hmm. us from whatever nuclear shit they're doing. Yeah, I don't think Trump is a good president because he's not um, like presentable. Mm-hmm. But in terms of his actual actions, like for the people, again, I do appreciate the no wars thing. Mm-hmm. Um, the economy was like presidential shit, like mm-hmm. on paper. It wasn't that bad. We've had way worse. Okay. Clinton started wars, but everyone started wars. Okay. Bush destroyed fucking half the world. Mm-hmm. Obama killed so many Syrian kids. Mm-hmm. Like no one cared. Mm-hmm. This guy did the opposite of that. Mm-hmm. And because he's stupid and he's, talks like a fucking monkey we focused on that yeah and uh that's the thing but no i don't uh i don't mind him okay i don't think i, I just think he's dangerous because he's so polarizing that's so true. people can't be united under one flag it's same thing with biden biden's so stupid that you can't unite people under one flag because people are like i can't feel proud yeah. with this fucking idiot in office and it's the same thing with trump the people who are completely opposed can't feel like we're under the same flag because they don't want to agree with the stupidity. Mm-hmm. So you need someone. That was the good thing about Obama. Obama did horrible things, war crimes. But if you don't know about the war crimes, he was so presentable. Yeah. You're proud. You're like, fuck, send this guy to the UN. Yeah. I want him to speak on behalf of yeah. us. You get it? So that's the good. Trudeau in the thing. pipeline. Yeah. Oh, God. Trudeau's another fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. So Trudeau, that's the other bad thing. Is Trudeau looks good, but the yeah. second he opens his fucking mouth, he's a goddamn idiot. Yeah. For me, what was like really annoying me and like leading up to the divorce, I was noticing this a lot. He was tweeting like absolute nonsense. Like he was like asking Taylor Swift to come to Canada for her tour. And I'm like, why? Like, just keep your mouth shut. Like you're not doing anything for inflation. Yeah. So just keep your mouth shut. But you see, when Trump was doing the same stuff, he was getting criticized. Like, so I noticed that too. And I think that also made me be more soft on Trump because I noticed everyone on his ass. Mm. So I was like, all right, guys, let's calm down. Like the last guy, he was allowed to murder children and we were cool Mm -hmm, with it. mm -hmm. So just because this guy's tweeting, you're a dumbass. It doesn't mean that we have to, oh my God, the end of the world. Yeah. Like you let the other guy kill kids. Mm. Okay. We drone striked schools. Yeah. And everyone was cool with it. Right. And Canada was part of that shit too. Oh. Yeah. Canada's Canada's been selling weapons to Turkey, to Saudi Arabia. I didn't know that. Yeah, we have weapons deals with them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're not, uh, Trudeau's not, uh, uh, his hands aren't clean in this. They're all, that's what I'm saying. I don't like any, they're all bad people. Yeah, I believe that. (laughs) Did you watch the White House uh, Correspondents Dinner? This one? Yeah, the speech that Roy Wood Jr. made. Yeah. No, I didn't. The one that... The comedian Roy Wood Jr.? Yeah. What what did he say? What? Are you kidding me? This is recent? Well, yeah, this was like a couple of months ago, wasn't it? Unless I saw it and I forgot about it. Come on. What did he say? Um, (laughs) One thing I do remember from it, and it kind of like really affected me, was he was (laughs) like, he talked about uh, Kamala Harris. And I don't he like was really. like, by the way, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> and like that was, it was funny, but I was also like, but then he, he, he saved it. He really was dancing with the line because he was like, what the fuck do you do? But then he's like, also no one's asking this for all the other VPs yeah. in the past. So it's all because like, you know, she's a woman, right? Oh, that. Oh. Yeah. So he really did save it. And that was, but she's funny. garbage. It's not because she's a woman. She's trash. She Is did it? so much. You don't know anything about her. Oh no. Well, like she was a uh, capital punishment, right? Dude, she small drug offender. She was, she used mm-hmm. to laugh about putting mm-hmm. them in for like, same thing with, with Biden, all the stuff they're talking no, about now, they treated punishment. black people so bad for mm-hmm. years. And then now they're like, yeah, we're here to defend minority. Dude, you're Biden put in some of the laws that right now he's talking shit about. Oh, is it? Yeah, he called black people super predators. What? You didn't know about While this. Obama was in office? No, even before that. He even said, um, he was a, he, he was talking about how uh, 
he he wanted schools to still be segregated. He was talking about, do you really want your kids to be going to school in this urban jungle? To me, yeah, he's he's a piece of shit. The guy he was oh always a piece God. of shit. I yeah. did not know any of that, this. That's, that's but that's what the media does. Well, they show you what they want to show you. Yeah. They're all oh, piece of shit. That's why. They're all scum of the earth. They're all scum of the earth. Trump, for example, yeah. shouldn't have been in politics. Of course. Not. The, this is the, the, it's the probably the greatest country in the history of mankind if we talk about where we're at, mm -hmm. and. The elected president for four years was a reality TV yeah, show. Yeah. It's fucking mental. I mean, so is Zelensky, but like he's oh, actually, Zelensky's another idiot. Eh, you think so? Zelensky? Yeah. Huge. He, Zelensky's getting his country. It, it, he's doing what, what uh, Biden wants, for example. He's getting his people killed. Mm. Okay. It's so crazy. He should have never fought with Russia. Okay. He should have been like, whoa, hold on a second. So you're telling me if I agree to this, the Russians are going to fucking attack me? Well, wasn't that just like they were avoiding it? They were just pushing it and procrastinating on it. And then Zelensky came in and he's like, all right, let's just do something about it. Is so, that not uh, what's yeah, happening? No, essentially what happened is the, uh, so the Russians do not like uh, NATO. Mm -hmm. The reason they don't like NATO is because NATO was created to fight against Russia. And for years, uh, NATO had promised, like uh, they had promised, we're not going to expand closer to your borders. And as soon as they said that, every year they kept adding more countries closer to the border, closer, closer, closer. Right. And then there's the whole controversy with the Ukrainians because mm -hmm. a lot of like Russians that live there, all that. Mm -hmm. So finally, at the end, what happened with this, what kicked it off is that they were pushing to get them into NATO. Mm -hmm. And he said, look, there's already fuckery happening. If you're really going to go into NATO, we're fucking attacking. Like, this is crazy. Now you're really at our doorstep. You're at our border. Okay. And the only reason why you exist is to attack Russia. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not for this. Which, by the way... Uh, I think that Ukraine should have the right as a country to do whatever the fuck they want. If they want to join NATO, it shouldn't be their neighbor that's going to dictate. However, if you know that he's going to kill your people, you should hold back and try to negotiate something before one person mm -hmm. is killed. He didn't do that. He was like, I'm going to throw bodies at it. So that I don't like. Okay. I don't like when you're the leader of a country, you think that you control the actual human life. Like you decide who lives and dies. I don't like that. Yeah. So the fact that he was willing to do that shit, mm -hmm. to me, he was a zero. And Putin, same thing. Putin, he threw human beings out there. So the fact that you're willing, on principle, to, to end other people's lives, other yeah. people's kids' lives, you're both garbage to me. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I'm saying Trump was the one who hadn't done that. Yeah. So I was like, at least he has that. Okay. But the rest of these guys, Zelensky, fucking uh, Putin, uh, even Trudeau, when you don't care about human lives, go fuck yourself. Wait, are you pro gun? Uh, it depends. Okay. Like, I'm not anti gun. Okay. Um, uh, I'm pro. Like American, you mean wise? Like I'm pro gun. Okay. American wise, yeah, I'm pro the what okay. is it, the Second Amendment? Yeah, I'm pro that. Yeah. hundred wow. percent. Yeah. But with certain restrictions. Okay. I believe it should be I, I don't like the way it is now, but I, I shouldn't be able to even talk about it. Mm -hmm. I'm Canadian. Mm -hmm. Uh but I believe that you should have guns if that's in your constitution, but they should change the rules a bit mm -hmm. because there's certain places where like you could have a gun when you're eighteen, but you can't drink till you're twenty one. Yeah. So already that's weird. Yeah. If you can't vote, if you can't like and there should be mandatory classes. Yes. And, and mental health checks. And mental health checks. That's what I've been saying. Yes. So okay. that's how I feel about okay, I'm it. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> which is a little, which is, I know it's a little controversial because yes. then people, the argument people would tell me is, well, if you're pro Second Amendment, it does, it says that you have the right. No one, yeah. I, I, I get that. However, now because of the type of weapons and also we see people are mental yeah. with the shit weed and all that. Absolutely. I think that at the bare minimum, it should be that. It mm -hmm. should be an age thing and it shouldn't be 18. Mm -hmm. I think if you're going to get a gun, it should be 21 over, maybe even 25. Because mm -hmm. you see the person develop. Yeah. And mental health. Check. Yeah. You do some kind of test and you're like, this guy's fucking unstable. Yeah. You can't get a gun. That's what I think. Now, am I right? To, I could be wrong. I don't know. But it, that's how I feel. It would reduce a lot of our, uh, our issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not against the guns because that's that's what the country was founded on. That's mm -hmm. their constitution. I mm -hmm. can't tell another country mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not to do it. Mm -hmm. And also... Even here, people used to have guns. People yeah. used to go to school with guns. They used to do uh, like shooting uh, practice at school, yeah. and there were no mass shootings. Mm -hmm. So the mass shooting started when people started to get heavily medicated yeah. and they were fucked up. So we should talk about that. Are you bringing up the super predators? Yeah. Yeah. Do you go guys ahead. want to watch it? Of course. Streets. It doesn't matter whether or not the person that is accosting <laughs> your son or daughter or my son or daughter, my wife, your husband, Talking about my mother, your parents. It doesn't matter whether or not they were deprived as a youth. It doesn't matter or not whether or not they had no background that enabled them to have to uh, <gasps> become uh, uh, social, uh, become oh. socialized into the fabric of society. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether or not they're the victims of society. Dude, that's the white supremacy. Thank you. Knock my what? mother on the head with a lead pipe, shoot my sister, beat up my wife, take on my sons. So I don't want to ask, 
What made them do this? They must be taken off the street. That's number one. There's a consensus on that. Yeah. Unless we do something about that cadre of young people, tens of thousands of them, born out of wedlock, without parents, without supervision, without any structure, without any conscience developing, because they literally, I yield myself three more minutes, because they literally have not been socialized, <laughs> they literally have not had an opportunity. We should focus on them now. If we don't, they will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. Oh. And Madam President, this guy's we have awesome. predators on our streets that society has, in fact, in part because of its neglect, created. Again, it does not mean because we created them that we somehow forgive them or do not take them out of society to protect my family and yours from them. Created them. They are beyond the pale, many of those people. Beyond the pale. Beyond those the people. pale. And it's a sad commentary on society. We have no choice but to take them out of society. So this is the crime bill and that the truth is, everyone's complaining about, the racist crime bill. He's the one who pushed it. Press play. Press play. Just, just, and how to rehabilitate them at that point. That's the sad truth. I'm the guy that said rehabilitation. When it occurs, we don't understand it and notice it. And when we, even when we notice it and we know it occurs, we don't know why. So you cannot make rehabilitation a condition for release. That's why in our system, there's the federal system. I love that CNN cut out the fact when he time. was, he, he, he was mentioning the race. Don't know how to rehabilitate. When he but says, there is a consensus you want them to be uh, a, in this oh, urban right. jungle. You must make the streets safer. I don't care why oh, someone that's a, is a malfactor yeah, in society. Weird hand gestures, but that's fine. I don't care why someone <gasps> is antisocial. I don't care why they become a sociopath. What is, what is he? What, to, why? Cordon them off from the rest of society. <laughs> try God to damn. Try to change Bro, the more you listen, the worse it gets. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. He's, he's wacky. We have other treatments to try Dude, to that's do insane. This. So, by the way, this kind of talk, okay. It's not just him. I've noticed it with a lot of politicians. They'll say weird shit, and I'll be like, that's fucking, that's that's fucking racist. wild. Yeah. That someone can say something like that. And that was in 1993. Yeah, that was 1993. That's how he felt. Who was in office? Clinton. Okay. That's the year I was born. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it was Clinton or it's the end of the Bush era. It's November, so it might have been uh yeah. Crazy, yeah? That is insane. I cannot believe that. Yeah, they're all they're bad people. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're bad fucking Is he doing a machine gun hand motion? What are you doing? I don't know. Yeah, He's, those hand motions are But that's why I'm telling you Trump is ludicrous, right? But Trump doesn't actually do any of this shit. Mm -hmm. We just He is racist. It's just I think Trump is definitely uh I don't I don't know if it's I don't want to say like there's different so this uh, Trump I've never heard him say racist like we got to keep these black people away. I've mm -hmm. never heard him say shit like that. I do believe he has the elite racism mm -hmm. which is you know everyone's a peasant. Mm -hmm. I do believe he has that. Mm -hmm. But I've never seen a video of him saying crazy shit like this. Yeah. That's the, that's where that's why I'm always like ah he's dumb like he's goofy but I've never heard him overtly say shit like this. Okay. The things that bothered me about him was that he can't take a strong stance. Like when the white supremacist people were fighting, mm -hmm. do you remember that shit? Mm -hmm. When he's like, "Yeah, okay, it started. There was good people on both yeah, sides." Yeah. So it's like, just say what you, just say what I hope you really yeah. want, which is like these fucking Nazis are not good. Just say it. Yeah. Just fucking say it. Don't worry about making them happy or hurting people's feelings. He's scared of upsetting them. That's what bothers me. Yeah. So we're we're on the same page because it, 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 he's a fucking politician yeah. and he's a fucking TV star. Yeah. So that kind of shit always bothers me. I feel like if you're gonna really go into politics and you care about people, be outright honest. Yeah. Like if I was bald, I'd be like, "Well, this is unacceptable." Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Don't vote for me. I don't give a fuck. This is fucking crazy, bro. How are you a Nazi in 2023 yeah. in a country that fought the Nazis? Mm -hmm. Fuck out of here. Like, just say it. Yeah. You give a fuck about it. What, the vote of the Grand Dragon? What is this, Dungeons and Dragons? Bro, get the fuck out. I don't care about your wizard votes. What was always surprising to me with Trump was your like, wizard why? votes. What's that? No, I laughed at your Yeah, the, the KKK <laughs> shit. Like, fuck off. Like, just say it. Fuck off. I don't care. He was, I think, part of... um. There was a few members of the of Congress who were like card carrying members mm -hmm, of the KKK mm -hmm. for like the longest time, and mm -hmm. that was cool. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, like that kind of shit you should speak out against. So that's the stuff that bothers me about Trump. He what didn't have a lot to lose, so he could have said these things. That's that's how I. That's yeah, exactly what yeah, I said. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. If anything, you're gonna get more votes from the other side. Who are like, oh fuck, I was told by CNN mm -hmm. that you hate everyone. Mm -hmm. This will help. Yeah, but instead he's like, no, I'm gonna be in the middle. Like you could be in the middle, but yeah. not the like the middle should be somewhere else. The middle can't be between. 
Nazis and everyone else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to move a, a little to the side of everyone else. True. Like, especially in Nazis. Are you fucking crazy? Yeah. There's there's a surprisingly large amount of um, brown people who support Trump. Of course. <laughs> but but I'm telling you, because he's not, he hasn't done anything ra- like legit racist. He hasn't, mm-hmm. if anything, he had helped a lot of, the, uh, especially reducing taxes helps everyone. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't. That's what it, it, anything he actually did. Like he had a chance to kill uh, a lot of Iranians. He had yeah. a big chance to do it, and he didn't. Yeah, I still stand by that. That was the moment where I changed my tune on him, and yeah. I started talking a bit nicer about him. Was when mm-hmm. Iran had blew, uh, had attacked that airfield, yeah. but they warned the U.S. right before because the U.S. had killed that military general, the the famous one. Oh right, yeah. So they warned them. They go, "We have to retaliate." Yeah. So the U.S. moved everyone out of the airfield. So they just bombed an empty airfield, mm-hmm. and then they go to Trump. All right, this is our time. They bombed us. We have to retaliate. We're going to fucking bomb Iran. And then Trump's retort was, they didn't kill anyone. It was an empty airfield. I can't justify killing any Mm -hmm. humans for an airfield. And that was Trump who said that. Mm -hmm. Everyone else would have been like, let's fucking blow torpedoes. He's like, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But we don't talk about that. Yeah. We talk about how goofy he is and how he looks stupid. Right. So that's what I'm saying is as a politician, at least when he was there, there was no new wars. Mm -hmm. I can't say the same about this fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. The Taliban, this guy. Yeah, how do you feel about Biden pulling out the troops? That's insane. The way, I don't, I I think the troops should have been pulled out Mm -hmm. at some point, but not the way he did it. Mm -hmm. Not surprise, motherfucker. And then Mm -hmm. let these people get killed and let the Taliban take over. So all the, so let me ask you this. All the young kids that died, Mm -hmm. all of the soldiers, the Canadian soldiers that were down there, the American soldiers, the British soldiers, whoever was down there for peacekeeping to get rid of the Taliban for all these years, Mm -hmm. it was all for nothing. The people that lost their arms, their legs, their, they died. Yeah. It was all for nothing. Yeah. The second the opium shit people ran out, you leave. about it for a week and then it was, that was it. It was like, all right. Of course, because he's supposed to be the good guy, the anti-Trump. Yes, yeah. Now, I, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Don't fall for it. Yeah. They all suck. Yes. Trump is not the hero. Yeah. Trump is not the hero that 4chan made him out to be. He's yeah. none of that. Trump mm-hmm. is definitely not a hero. But if he was a, in an office, what I liked when he was in office, mm-hmm. rather, was the no new wars. Yeah. I'm not saying he's the best. Uh, it's just that from what I've seen, at least make sure no one's dying needlessly and yeah. I'll be happy. Yeah, that's true. At, at the very least. This guy doesn't give a fuck about human life. Agreed. So that's what I'm saying. But it's a, it's a you can't have Trump again. Like, I know Trump wants to run again. He's too divisive. You need, How uh, could he run again? He's you, fucking getting indicted. None of this shit matters. I'm telling you, it's all okay. nonsense. <laughs> no, it's all nonsense. I'm telling you, it's all nonsense. <laughs> it's all, you're going to see, it's all nonsense. He's going to run again. It's all nonsense. Yeah. He's going to run again. I do feel like this entire system is, like, just fake. Mm-hmm. Everything's fake. Now you're catching on to the reality. <laughs> That's what it is. They're all garbage. Yeah. The second you're Team Trump, Team Trudeau, Team Biden, you mm-hmm. lost. Yeah. You can't be on their team. They don't give a fuck about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, they're all. Uh, what we need is a uniter. Someone who's just like, look, I gotta be honest. I really don't care about this fucking party shit. We have a lot of problems. We gotta tackle yeah. inflation. We got that. What is that? Besides, you just fart. No. What the fuck was that? That was the. Did you just rip one? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that was, was that a chair dragging or something? Oh, maybe Phil next door. Maybe. Oh, okay. Phil there. I guess. That was weird. I'm going to go check. Pick up no, that? that's fine. How does it pick I'm up a bit noise? freaked out, bro. That's okay. crazy. I thought it was like a crazy wet fart from Poseidon. <laughs> no. Okay, I believe you. I wish. But, uh, <laughs> no, don't knock. Leave him alone. He's working. Uh, but yeah, that, that's, uh, that's what I want. I want a uniter. Yeah. Someone who just focuses great. on the country. Yeah. Like, sometimes I'm in these meetings at work, totally not related. But I'm just like, okay, guys, cut the bullshit. Like, let's just fucking get down to, like, what let's needs just to do get it. done. And let's just do it. You know what I mean? All this politics about who's going to do it, how long it's going to take. I don't care. Get it done. Yeah. But that's never going to happen in this world. No. Yeah. No, it's never going to happen in this world because people are, like I said, same thing, like, with the Trump thing. Unless you the can't aliens it, come. The second you say, well, Trump didn't start any wars, they're like, are you a Nazi? Mm, yeah. How the fuck is that related? Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is the truth. He didn't. That's true. And he had the, oh, trust me, he had the opportunity. Yeah. He pissed everyone off. Yeah. He was going to the UN meetings and he was acting like a, like a varsity uh, football player in a high school cafeteria. Mm-hmm. It was crazy. He's pushing, face pushing people. It was insane. You would see this and you're like, this, this is going to start a war. Yeah. Someone's going to get mad. Yeah. And somehow this fucking guy managed to not start a, <laughs> I still don't understand how the fuck he got on the good side of the North Korean guy. That shocked the fuck. He made fun of him, mm-hmm. called him Rocket Man, mm-hmm. talked shit, made a video talking shit about him. Mm-hmm. And then the guy's like, all right, this is too crazy. Let's negotiate. How basketball. the fuck did, to like, yeah. there's, if they make a movie and Christian Bale gets to play Trump or something, or Shane Gillis could play Trump. That would be fun. <laughs> it would be like the, such an amazing movie. Yeah. Like how those four years, how the fuck did the world survive? 
Yeah. And he did, gr- if you look on paper, forget mm-hmm. like uh, towards the end with the, uh, the COVID and all that, because that everyone fucked mm-hmm, that up. Mm-hmm. But you look at it on paper, you're like, holy fuck, all right. <laughs> this isn't that bad. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, better than the, the I would love to see Alec Baldwin play uh Trump. And that's too dangerous for the for the cast and the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Alec Baldwin it's, uh, killed more brand. people than Trump. Oh, this okay, fine. I don't know if I agree with that, but okay. It's statistics. Whether you agree with it or not, he shot a person. Trump didn't. Okay. He killed he killed a Ukrainian. Damn. A year before the war, like six months before the war. Yeah. Well, you're he's talking a, about the movie set. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, yeah. Alec Baldwin was Team Russia all the way. He killed his first Ukrainian. Right before the yeah. But he's claiming it's an accident. It could be an accident. You still kill the person. Right, right. If I run someone over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I still ran them no, over. No, 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 yeah, I yeah. agree with you. But yeah. that is I still want to see Alec Baldwin. Has Trump him. ever killed anyone? I'm asking you. As like far directly as we know. with his hands, you mean, no. right? But even like, he had the chance his... to do it without his hand. He had the chance to do it with uh with the wars, right? The only people that he killed during the wars was that general, uh those terrorists, uh Al Hussein. He, he didn't they didn't kill innocents. Obama killed hundreds of kids. Mm-hmm. Hillary Clinton too. Mm-hmm. Bill Clinton decimated the Bosnians. Mm-hmm. Not to mention yeah. Haiti. Yeah. Oh, they went there. They pillaged Clinton? Haiti. The yeah, Haiti. the Clintons. Mention to a Haitian person. Mention the Clintons to a Haitian yeah. person. Yeah. Uh, they fucked Haiti over. Fuck. Yeah. I need to read up on all these. Yeah, yeah they're all scumbags. Politicians are bad. Trump is not the good guy. It's just that Trump, I guess, because he knew everyone's watching, and he yeah. wants to be friends with everyone, yeah. so he didn't start wars. Because I don't think he didn't start wars because he's a good guy. I think he didn't start wars because like, oh, they're going to remember this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I think he didn't start wars. But he still didn't. Okay. Also, I feel like Trump is the devil that you know. And the other guys were the devil that you don't like in the sense. They're all the devils, bro. I know, but in the sense where like kind of like Trump is more like he wants to make money and do business. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he didn't want to make long standing enemies. He's like, maybe one day I want to expand to Iran. Yeah. I can't kill these people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, I'm just saying they're all garbage. Mm-hmm. But if you, I rather the the safest garbage. And right now, I don't know what the safest garbage is. I don't see anyone I like okay. in either country. Great. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing. That might be a terrible way to look at the future. But I don't it see is. any politician coming up that you're like, oh, fuck, this person. This person's going to save us. Yeah. No, not at all. No, no, no. No one's even close There's to saving none, us. yeah. So whoever promises to get out of people's personal lives. Yeah. And just deal with the economy yes. and don't go to war yes. and put down inflation, make things affordable again. Mm-hmm. I'm voting for that person. Yeah. Yeah. I don't because I don't want you controlling my life. Yeah. I don't want you talking about this gay is a marriage. This shit show. We're living in very depressing times. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there should be like the social stuff. There shouldn't be any debate. The okay. second you're debating gay marriages and that's like, it's none of your business, bro. Yeah. Absolutely. That's personal shit. Absolutely. Don't focus on that. If someone wants to get married. It's their fucking business who they want to get married to. Mm-hmm. Don't do anything about that. You focus on the goddamn economy and the goddamn roads. Mm-hmm. You're not going to tell me who the fuck I could bang. That's crazy. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, they get involved in too much shit. Yeah. They're not They're not focusing on the real stuff. But, I don't know. The world's going to end. <laughs> At some point. We're, we're still alive for a while. What about the aliens? I, Indian culture. Yeah. Has been saying it for thousands of years. Yeah. They've seen ships. Yeah. You have drawings of them. Yes. How do Indians feel about the UFO disclosure stuff? Well, first of all, I'm not Indian. But no, but I'm know. saying, you know, you know why we're talking about this. Why, how do Indians I feel know. about this? Well... It's just that it's in the scriptures. It's in like the drawings and whatnot on these temples. Like it exists, that fact that there is ET. So we know about this. They know about this. The government obviously knows about this. So when when, when people in, in like Southeast Asia see this shit and how yeah. excited we are. Yes. Are they like, hey, dipshits, we know. You know what it is? I, I truly do think that like Indians, Sri Lankans, whatever. One, they live in such a fucking corrupted system. That they don't have the time of the day to be like, okay, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and also, they're kind of like, as long as it's not bothering my day to day and like I'm able to like put food on the table, then I don't, I don't give a fuck. shit. That truly is where they're at right now. And also, if you think about it too, even in North America, we're dealing with so much shit with inflation and all that stuff that like that's probably why it's not getting that much attention. They're kind of like, okay, yeah, it exists, but I don't know if I'm gonna pay, be able to pay rent this month. So, you might be on to something. This might be a strategic time to sh- throw this out there. To be like, no one's going to care. They can't afford to eat. Well, there you go. Yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. But it's do it you, makes sense. Do you think it would go as deep as they decimated the economy and the global economy just to bring to light aliens? No. And nobody cares. 
No, I think the economy, <laughs> <laughs> that's deep though. <laughs> but I mean, I think the economy, like a lot of it obviously has to do with the fact that COVID and like the supply chain issues that we had as well. And then the wars, everything, the oil crisis, everything is attributing to it. I don't know how much of the aliens are playing to that. But if we look all around the world, inflation is like in Sri Lanka, it's 64%. Dude, it's wild. People are begging out there. And it's crazy because it's never been that high. They've never been at such a position. Like Sri Lanka straight up had a civil war from 1980-ish to 2009. And the, the economy wasn't as bad as it is now. It's, that's, it just doesn't make sense. Holy shit. Yeah. And here it's getting worse. They keep saying it's getting better and it's actually getting worse. Absolutely. This new carbon tax it. is amazing. We see it. We're living oh. it. COVID update. Poseidon, did you see the thread that I sent? Yes. How funny was that? I can no longer access um, certain new sites. New sites. Good. For my computer or my Instagram. Good. It says this is no longer available to you because you live in Canada. Oh, nice. Okay. That's good. I mean, I saw that. But uh, so essentially, it, remember when the vaccines were rolling out, people mm -hmm. were nervous. And then when some people were announcing that they had their periods were being fucked with or they have oh, blood yeah. clots, all that. Agreed. The government and the news are saying these are lies. It's not really happening. Whatever. There are no injuries. Yeah. So now, because I guess there's a lot more than were reported. Yeah. Now there's a vaccine injury support program from the Canadian. No. Yes. Except for what? Quebec. Quebec has its own thing. Yeah. Okay. But so like, the stuff that they called you liars on that it doesn't exist. Now they're like, ooh, okay. It's a little okay, bad. Okay. So anti-vaxxers are like fucking living right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so angry. Yeah, I'm so angry that I took him twice. I, I, got, I got the fucking shot Same. when, uh, and I'm still the one who didn't get COVID at all. That's crazy. And everyone around me fucking got it. That's I don't want to get it. I'm just saying that like. Uh, no, of course. I get, so I get all, they were calling you crazy. It's not true. There are no injuries. What, even no. though they were being reported in the States first, they're like VARES, you know, like there are injuries. Yeah. Here they were like, no, no, no. Yeah. You're getting that. Nah, it's very, no, no, no. And then. Uh, well, we have a f whole support program for the people that That's have... That's real. That's real. For oh, sure. this is real. This is real. And, and in Quebec, you could look it up. Vaccine Injury Support Program Canada, Poseidon. Um, and we know people. We also know comics that had uh, some adverse effects. Yeah. Uh, well, Seems girlfriend got a blood clot. Yeah. Uh, I had her on the show talking about it right after. Yeah. She was even then, even though it happened and she, she fucking, you know, you could die from blood. She was still nervous in the beginning to talk about it. Oh, you found it. Yeah. You're calling it the VISP. Yeah. No way. The purpose of the VISP is to ensure that all people in Canada who have experienced a serious and permanent injury as a result of receiving a Health no. Canada authorized vaccine administered in Canada on or after December 8, 2020 have I thought you said I thought you said that there was no uh, adverse effects. I'm so pissed. I'm very pissed. Fair and timely access to financial support. The pan-Canadian VISP will serve all people vaccinated in Canada with the exemption of people vaccinated in Quebec. Obviously. Who will receive coverage from the long-standing no. Quebec program. Eligibility criteria. Yeah. Oh, uh, I told you, you have to go to the guy who lost wow. his hair. Wait, what? Yeah, so there's a guy. That is, but I, 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 every time I tell the story, I fucking laugh. So he goes and gets it. Well, it was the second <sighs> shot that he got, no? It was the second one, yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, can, <laughs> I, can I say yeah, it? Yeah, it's just, this is funny. So basically, this this man had uh, hair like steel wool, yeah, and thick, big hair. Like I had no hair problems. Like he could clean kitchen sinks in wow. restaurants. That's how good his hair was. And uh, he got the first vaccine, all good. Got the second vaccine. Two to three weeks later, his hair starts falling out oh in chunks, God. in chunks, but like weird bald spots all oh over the place. God. And he got he, like alopecia, basically. And yeah. he goes, yeah, and he goes, uh, he goes to the doctor, and the doctor told him. I just stress it'll go away. No, 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 that's not what he said. Or something. He says, uh, he goes to the doctor and he says, um, you know, what the fuck? I got vaccinated and this happened. And then the guy's like, ah, it's probably because you're, you're anxious. Just don't be stressed. He's oh, like, yeah, yeah. I'm anxious because, because I'm losing my hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Scene. And he goes, that's why I'm anxious. He goes, I'm, the reason why I wasn't anxious and then I lost the hair. Yeah. I started becoming anxious when the hair was fucking falling yeah. out. And the guy's like, ah, hey, you know, something it happens. I was like, you know, there's Absolutely, some shit. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, he just chunks, and I and there's even comics in in uh, who would get in the shot, and then their alopecia came, and they started losing hair, and all. It, sure. a, a lot of people I uh, I've seen that lost hair, uh, a lot of blood clots, a lot of periods, a lot of women had issues with their periods. Yeah. And the first time I heard about it was early on in the program. It was from fans that had messaged me, mm -hmm. and then I had talked about it. Mm -hmm. And when I talked about it, other people on the podcast were commenting and getting mad at me, mm -hmm. like it's false information. The period stuff is a lie. Mm -mm. It never happened. No, None of that. And then uh, I, I did a show at Quebec and like Olga and some other fans were talking to me about how 
them and other women were experiencing. Yeah. Their periods getting fucked up. Yeah. And they're like, thank you for talking about it. Yeah. Because, and I was speaking about it, even when the people were talking shit about me, they're like, you're lying. It never happened. I go, but you're saying this. Yeah. But women are telling me. Yeah. My fuck. How, who first am I to hand, tell them? First hand, yeah. Who am I to tell them? You're yeah. lying, bitch. Yeah. Like, it's fucking crazy. And then it became a lot of women and a yeah. lot of women close to me that I started yeah. talking to. They're like, yeah. yeah, our periods were fucked up. And they were denying it. They were on the news saying it's not real. Yeah. That's a lie. The last time I was on this podcast with you, with Joanna, I was telling you, like, it's like, I was really anxious about the fact that they didn't test it enough. And you guys yeah. were like arguing, but like, yeah, for the time period and the time crunch that they were in. That's why they fine. didn't test it. But no, no. Which, but I'm with you. They, they, they at least should have told us the truth because mm-hmm. they said, no, it's fine though. We didn't test it a lot, but nothing's going to happen. Yeah. They and didn't test it on a lot of women. That's for sure. Yeah. And then like, here we are like getting fucked up. Dude, I've had crazy fucking side effects See? ever since. Uh, you got to get some money. Well, I hope so. They'll pay for my therapy. Yeah. You got to get some money out of this. But the fucked up thing is not just that you had side effects. The fucked up thing is that you had side effects and they called you a liar, a conspiracy theorist, Absolutely. an anti-vaxxer. Yeah. The best is they call people anti-vaxxers yeah. when it's like, you know that the term anti-vaxxer is for someone that doesn't accept any vaccine. Oh, right. Okay. Me not accepting this yes. um, okay. uh, experimental gene therapy shit doesn't make you anti-vaxxer. Mm-hmm. It makes you cautious. I really do feel stupid. Oh, right yeah. Now. Yeah, but like we all feel stupid. Yeah, because everyone. But here in Canada, also everyone got bullied into getting it. Yeah, for sure. They go, we're not forcing you, but you're not allowed on planes. But it was also you're- just like when you're in like social settings too. It's like, oh, like you're not vaccinated, you can't come. But the reason why people were saying that is because Trudeau would go out on, on TV mm. and say stuff like, "Your neighbor's trying to kill you." You remember that shit? And now he's saying like he's never done that, right? Dude, this guy's a gaslighter. Mm-hmm. He went out and said, "I never forced anyone. Mm-hmm. I never sent." And then you cut to a video of him literally saying, "They're they're dangerous. They're they're they, we're not gonna let them be on planes and trains mm-hmm. next to us. Mm-hmm. These people, they're trying to spread this disease." Mm-hmm. He made people hate their neighbors. Yeah, Yo, sure. so uh, sorry to cut you guys off, but a number of claims submitted since 1988. So this is this is on, on vaccines, basically vaccine injury. From 1988 to March 31st, 2023. Okay. Uh, number of claims submitted since 1988, 410. The ones that were totally ex- that were completely accepted are 56 only. <gasps> Guess the payout. Tell me. Ten nine point three nine seven million dollars for 56 people. That's a lot of money, dude. A lot of people are going to get a crazy payout. They're about if they find out about mm. this, by the way, this was not advertised. You know how I found out about this? Uh, Ted Bird posted a photo. Yeah. That it was written at some I, health place. Like they didn't say, you know how in the States, like if, if you've been injured from this, call mm-hmm. this number. They're not going to do that here because they don't want to pay sure. out. So it's just like if really you ever figured out yeah. that they were wrong. But all this stuff, man, you go back two years, just mentioning that there's there's side effects. They would call you a liar, a conspiracy theorist, yeah, and now sure. they're paying out. For sure. And you're still going to have people that argue it. People are going to yeah. be like, nah. Eh. You know what's crazy to me is that the companies that manufactured the vaccines still aren't accountable. It's no. the government. But can I tell you something? Which is still us at the end of the day. I believe at some point that makes sense for this. I'll tell you why. I don't think they, I think they should be held accountable. The problem is our government is so fucking stupid. They made the decision. Our government could have been like, no, yep. until, until it's tested, I'm not going to give it to my people. Mm-hmm. But instead, Trudeau said, uh, do you remember when Trudeau went on, this is the best thing that ever happened, was when Trudeau went on and said, whatever one you take is safe, take the vaccine. And then a day later, they pulled, I think it was Moderna, or the one that was fucking with women. Do you remember this? AstraZeneca. Yeah. AstraZeneca. And then uh, people were like, wait, dude, you just said to people, millions of people just got the shot that you told them is safe. And then a day later, like, what the fuck? And you pulled it. You can't do that. Yeah. We never, we never talked about that again. Yeah. Oh, no. Hmm. This does make me really sad. It makes me angry. It makes me angry, but at the same time, it's like, like, uh, I've been, you know, when I talked about it initially, people were mad at me and they were calling me all the fucking names in the book. Yeah. And it's like, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have like, uh, I don't know, I I shouldn't have been as nice. I should have been like, you know what? Go fuck yourself. You're you're a complete idiot. Mm. Yep. It's, it's the same thing like me uh, not liking one person and then you'd be like, so you're a racist now you hate all Italians. Yeah, yeah. It's like, that's insane. Why would that's I even so accept that argument it's so fucking crazy that's what happened here a lot of people were called anti-vaxxers yeah who are fully vaccinated just didn't want to get this shit mm-hmm. and they were right not to get this it's fucking experimental as fuck yeah. it didn't the way it looks it's fucking it did a lot more harm than good because a lot of the people that were uh, getting off to, now that we know the statistics were the older generation that already had pre-existing conditions there was mm-hmm. a lot of shit yeah oh another thing about the, the trump thing so all the stuff that trump had available when he got COVID, uh ivermectin uh, what was the other, the monoclonal antibodies mm-hmm. that Rogan took, all that stuff worked for all these elites. They were all taking it. Mm-hmm. 
they went on CNN. They called uh, ivermectin horse paste and Rogan's taking horse when it was prescribed by a doctor. Mm -hmm. All the stuff that they were taking, Trump is on a diet of nonsense and cheeseburgers, mm -hmm. and yet nothing. <laughs> he took it. A day later, he was out yeah. talking shit, okay? Yeah. A, a reasonable person would have said, holy fuck, why does he have access? To, why does Boris Johnson have access to that saved him right away? Yeah. And they're telling me on, on TV that this is for horses and I shouldn't take it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? yeah. I, I want what the fuck these people have access to. Yeah. Instead, people are so stupid, like, ha ha, such a dummy, horse stuff. You fucking idiots. They gave the elite shit that just, they were cured in fucking two, three days and you were making fun of them. Yeah. It's so stupid. We're so dumb. But it's access to information, right? That we don't have. Uh, also, but if you see, CNN yes. is making fun, like when they were making fun of Rogan. Yeah. They're making fun, they're talking so much yeah. shit. Haha, <laughs> this guy cured himself. But he did. <laughs> but how is that a joke? Yeah. How is that, uh, why are we making fun of Rogan? Yeah. I wonder what the fuck he took. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't I have access to it? Why do the elites, why does Boris Johnson have yeah. access to it and I don't? Yeah. <laughs> it's completely insane. <laughs> we were all robbed. Mm. But hey. Okay. What are we saying, doggy, about Mona? Oh. Uh, I haven't gotten to it yet. Who made a joke about it? Uh, Mona de Grenoble. Uh, a drag queen discussed accusations they groom kids and the deep hatred for his critics uh, uh, in a talk with comedian Mike Ward. <laughs> he joked about killing people opposed to drag performances in front of kids. You know that Mona's just, that's the jokes. First play, let's hear what Mona said. Fucking internet, bro. Va voir le Facebook, il est lettre comme un asti de cul de singe. Tu vas voir sa blonde, elle est dégueulasse, pas une dent dans la gueule. On le veut pas dans notre gang, votre asti jeune, là. Gardez-les, Calis, il changera nos pneus sur Canadian Tire. Chris de Play. Oh my god. C'est ce que j'ai dit. C'est ce que j'ai dit. Press pause. Basically, he says people are saying that I'm trying, like, uh, drag queens are trying to lure kids to bring, them, to turn them gay. Mm -hmm. But if you look at these people that are complaining, if you look at their Facebook profiles, they're fucking hideous, and their girlfriends are hideous. They got <laughs> one tooth. Why would I want your ugly kids? We don't need them in the team. He goes, we need them in society normally yeah. so they can change our tires. And change tire. <laughs> like he didn't say anything. Anyways, press play. Tabarnak de mal de tête. Non, le monde, ils ont du lousse dans la tête un peu. Puis je pense quand ils pongent des dos down, c'est le cerveau cogne. Puis Là, ils il s'ouvrent un Facebook puis ils donnent leur opinion de ce petit ouais. arriéré du Chris, là. Ben oui. J'ai tué à grand coup d'âge, ce petit. Ils sont fâchants. Ils sont fâchants. Chris, là, les gars, un viol, ils ont jamais tué personne, là. <rire> Oh. Non, mais à un moment donné, là. Excusez, c'est à moi, faire ta soeur. Oh. Ah, ça va être bon, cet épisode-là, pour aider le monde qui pense que les drags, c'est des pédophiles, là, c'est-tu? Oh. Ouais. They're clearly oh, joking. Yes, so, on va les avoir, bonne fierté, dans leur drag. Il n'y en a pas assez des, des petits euh, drags. Ah ouais. <laughs> C'est ça, un autre little drag queen. <laughs> Il y en ouais. a pas assez. Ça va de mieux en mieux, puis éventuellement, on va réussir notre but qui est de rendre tous les enfants transgenres. Oh, non, non. <rire> ben oui. On est après vous avoir, mais c'est That's sarcasm. Yeah, 100%. Ben oui. <rire> Avec en Brother passant, euh, on voit ton cul encore. Hein? Ben là, je vais ouais, l'assumer, ouais. ça va être ça, tabarnak. Ouais. Reste-toi là, il y a ce petit pervers. Bon, ouais. ça finit à quelle heure? Right, ça, ça, ramener, là. <rire> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Like, you're taking sarcastic... Mm -hmm. uh, verbal mm -hmm. stuff and then you're writing it down on paper yeah. and it sounds awful yeah if anyone should be upset it's the canadian tire employees <laughs> no i like first of all canadian tire employees like my friends work here on lacquer at the mm. canadian tire and i always go get my shit done the best bro canadian tire underrated i, I don't think people know that you could bring your car there mm -hmm. you they give you the best deals yeah they yeah they don't gouge you like everyone else okay they always tell me the truth okay. yeah. anywho listen all right Poseidon, are we going over is that what you're saying yeah, you gotta get you gotta go change, yeah, right? I'm sorry. All right, Raj, I got your links in the description. Lovely. We went everywhere with this podcast. We talk about aliens. <laughs> we talk about vaccines. We talked about politicians. The only thing we could agree on is there's something fucked up about the aliens. Yes, we don't like any politicians. Absolutely. Uh, what Trudeau's else? Hot. Trudeau hot. Yeah, is a handsome man. I'm a, yeah. I'm gonna concede that. Mm -hmm. But bearded Trudeau, way more handsome uh, than absolutely. current Trudeau, yeah. right? Pandemic Trudeau. Mm -hmm. Pandemic Trudeau. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The the more the most incompetent Trudeau, the hottest Trudeau. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> the dumber you are, the more chicks like you. Yeah. All right. Uh, so thank you guys. Subscribe. Uh, go follow Raj. And also, if you see Raji anywhere in uh, in the city, if you see she's performing, go watch her. She's fucking funny. She's going to be back at the bordel in a couple of weeks. Uh, thank you all.
Go fuck yourselves. Thank you. We've built this prison cell. Cause we can't trust ourselves. Critic-